I've got to say, Luke, that's uh, amazing, that jingle. Thank you. Welcome to episode seven of the Korg Microcast podcast. Uh, Join with Luke and his amazing Christmas jingle. Thank you very much. How long did that take you to do? A few minutes. That was good. That was excellent. Uh, Andy Pullen, as always. Hello. And uh, again, Ian Bradshaw. Hello. With his uh, gadget goodies. I've got my gadgets again here. <laughs> gadget so, goodies. welcome to episode 7, the Christmas special, I guess. Now we're well into December. Yes. Cork advert on telly, holidays are coming and all yeah. that. No wink, though. No what? No wink. Wink. Oh, no wink, yeah. <laughs> From Santa on the Still track. recovered. Yeah. Uh, so, Ian, what have you got for us this, this week? Okay, so um, I thought it would be timely to bring along chaos later for android Ooh, right. um, so this is the first music making app that we've created on that platform okay there's been uh, lots as you know on the ios platform and uh, people were asking us why we didn't do anything on android mm. so up until probably the last year or so um, android has matured somewhat there's been improvements to the way that the audio engine works and midi implementation and so on so there are more and more companies producing things but um we've uh, kept out of it until till recently actually and um, we thought best way to introduce ourselves to android users is to bring something that's familiar and quite simple cool. and straightforward so um it's exactly the same in terms of appearance and functionality as the uh, iOS version. He's got it in his hand. I've got it in my hand. He's dying to hear it. I want to play it. And uh, I've got it installed on my Galaxy Alpha phone. So it's mm. uh, Android 5. It's not a particularly high-end phone, but it is, uh, it is uh, rather good. So I thought what I'd do is rather than go through trying to make something sound great from scratch Mm -hmm. i'd use uh some of the patterns that are already in there or the all the loops that are in there and then just switch between the the live uh using the live remix mode where you go between the different parts for each group of of loops cool just to give you an idea of the kind of thing you can do so here we go i'm diving in going for it So what I was doing there was going between, there's uh, four dubstep um, pre- presets in there. Each of them has got five parts to it. Mm. And I was just mixing between the few of them, between between the, the, far, the four dubstep patterns, um, selecting one of the five different parts, muting, solo in, etc. So yeah, you get a Great. good idea of what it will do. So this is available now. Yep. And what's the price? The price is, I think, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. dollars yeah. yes. It's almost free. No, it's it's not. It's free. It's not almost free. Um, But I thought also, before we move on to it, I would um, play something a little more laid back and chilled. Boss and over. Well, we could do that, but... (laughs) Shall um, I dim the lights? (laughs) No, you don't need to dim the lights, but I thought this is is quite nice, actually. There's some really... Well, that is nice. It is. I love that panning thing. Yeah, Yeah, it's really nice. Andy can't hear it, unfortunately. He's not got his lamp schemes on. <laughs> this sounds sweet, definitely. So, in uh, this is for you. Adam, a bit of bossa nova, you said. Yep, just bring it on. Let's do it. Oh yeah, loving that. Another shaker. 
Oh, that's great. It so, does sound great, doesn't it? I love the interface as well with all the colours popping out at you. Yeah, it's so really if I nice. if I if I you know take the um the drum part as an example, the bossa nova, so I hit the pad in the middle. Okay, which is that? And as I slide across it gives me a variation. Alright, cool. It's like the beginning of that Quincy Change track, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. And I get a volume change or I get a I just I've got the feeling I'm stuck in a lift. You are in a lift, actually. Um, and one more for for the for the uh, this man here. Yes, now we're talking. Cool. So yeah. I guess what you're trying to say is it does lots of different styles. It does lots of different yeah. styles. You, you, there's um, this, so there's five parts. You can configure each part to be anything between one sixteenth of a measure or four measures long. Um, that's for each unit uh, or each part, I should say. You've got different scale types as to how the um, the screen rep responds. Uh, you can pick the key, you can pick the tempo, you've got solo, you've got mute, uh, you've got the ability to mix and match the different parts of the different loops. And then last but not least, you have an ability where you can export it as an audio file. And then if you're using this with, um, I don't know, with a door, for example, you could create your own musical loops. So it would work great with something like Ableton. It's great, isn't it? So you can use it cool. like a little scratch pad kind of idea. Yeah, as, as a way of creating then, your own yeah. unique, unique loops. Um, the instrumentation uh, consists of drum patterns. Um, you've got bass sounds, special effects, hits, synths, chords. Um, and the pad for the different parts will give a, a different variation to the sound so if it's a drum loop it will play different parts of the loop or it will play snares and bring in right. all sorts of things the bass it might be changing the filter it might be changing how the lfo is modulating things like the like you heard within the yeah, dubstep yeah. sound um and then there's some acoustic stuff it's just uh you just need to buy it it's, it's seven pound 99 yeah. it's, it's a no-brainer yeah. i think yeah. it's, it's a lot of plastic fun. fiver add yeah. two pound 99 <laughs> and buy it yeah. simple as that it's yeah. almost free <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah. It's very um, good, very good. And it's half price until January the no, 5th. The, no, the, it's not. The, the, the sale at the moment on the software we've got is up to half price across all of... Ah, right, yeah. okay, so, well, that's great. That's even better. So mm. some products are 50% off. I think this one 30%. is actually 50%. Right? I think this one yeah. is... I've got is, it in my yeah. notes. It must yeah. be right. Half yeah. price until January the 5th. There's also money off something else. The iWave station. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's fourteen ninety nine. Thirty-three yeah. percent off until Again, January. Another the bargain. To be the, honest, the other thing with that with the uh, wave station is that you can buy the expansion cards as I did today. I think mm. they were three ninety-nine, um, wow. and it brings in the legacy collection sounds, which are voiced for more modern music. Because yeah. the wave station, when it came mm. out, it was ninety. So when you when you play it, there is a bit of a, a time travel experience that you have <laughs> there was that aspect to probably it, yeah. why Adam yeah. likes it yeah. Yeah. and uh, sold <laughs> and myself so but that's yeah so I mean, I mean a new product amazing you know all Korg music apps and plugins on sale up to 50% off until the 5th of January yeah so get okay. in there now, I, I did uh, just remember one more thing I wanted to add about Chaos Later for Android it's only like Columbo then <laughs> just one more thing <laughs> all right. it's because of my throat um <laughs> There is a, on the iOS version, you, you can add to it uh, different loops and different instruments. Mm. There's a, an extra kit that you can buy. It's not currently available for the Android version, but that will come later. Cool. Brilliant. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks for bringing that in. You're welcome. It's good. That's it wasn't heavy, so I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on your own phone, to be fair. It's so. the work phone, actually. So. Well, yeah. yeah, well, even so. No, that sounds great. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. Totally good. Okay. Excellent. So, so we're doing a presence now. Now? Yeah. yeah. I thought we were doing them at the end. No, we're doing now. Dude, where's um Here he comes, Lambskin's coming back. Andy's here. Andy, we need you for this bit. Okay. Present time. Present? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Ian, I think you should go first. Me, okay. Yes. <clears throat> wow. He's wrapped it in cord wrapping paper, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Wow. So what do you think of that? I'm I'm sold. <laughs> Obviously you can't see what this is, but it's a mini arcade machine. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking in a little box. What does it say? 
It says mini arcade machine, <laughs> and then it says I can't read you eight some. No, eight. it says go back to the future with these eighties favourites. Oh. <laughs> and there's two hundred and forty. I'm, I've never seen him speechless before, but he actually can, is. Can we <laughs> stop the podcast? <laughs> I'll just uh, fire won't this. Be speaking much for the next uh, hour. Oh, loving it. Loving it. What have we got? Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. Oh, uh, get the list. Check out the menu. Check out what we've got. There you go, mate. I think you'll know this one. Oh, oh better space it. invader. Right, you carry on. I'm just going to be playing <laughs> space invader. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it as well. Isn't he? <laughs> he is actually playing it. Oh, I think they were doing gifts. I like the music. I do as well. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ian shouldn't have one. I'm touched. Well, I haven't. Oh, right. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've just I've just brought it in to wind you up and and gloat basically that you've got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, I'll, uh, I'll leave my PS4 in my boot then. <laughs> That's great. So we've got classics on there, like uh, we've got everything. Everything, I, I just couldn't believe Paul, what was Paul, on. that's one for my voice. There's Breakout, there's um, <laughs> Defender. Sudoku, Defender. another one for my Amazing. voice. All, so all, all of the uh, arcade So favorites. where did you get this from then? It came, uh, it was Savvy I think. Right, great. Brilliant, well, satisfying. That's, that's great. Thanks for winding me up with that, Ian. That's, <laughs> no that's problem. Great. I need to go and purchase one of them. You yeah. definitely do. So I Definitely. guess while you're here, while you're here, Ian, we need to talk about some awards that you've won. We do, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Where well, shall we start with, you know, one okay. that many? Well, in the last couple of weeks, <laughs> we've had uh, a couple of awards for Minilog, yes. actually. Um, we got one at the MI Pro mm-hmm. award ceremony. And last night we got the Music Tech Brilliant. Uh, Gear of the Year Awards, mm-hmm. yeah, the best hardware synthesizer. It was uh, highly commended. So when I when I talked to the organisers about it, they said, well, we can't just have one winner. And, and it's like, you've got to somehow squeeze them both in, he says. But, you know. In other words, we won. We won. So yeah. that'll do. I'm, I'm, I'm going with that. We won. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. Let's just pretend. Yeah. yeah. No, there's no pretending about it. But what, what they actually did was they um, they gave me an award that said winner. And it was gold. There yeah. you go. So I'm, I'm just accepting. Just take that, that as a win. Take that. Yeah. That'll yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Excellent. I so think, I think they are going to send me the silver one, but we've well, they got gave you the wrong one. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, th- I, th- I don't quite know what happened, but right. uh, excellent. So that's that's. Uh, I think it was divine a worthy intervention. Actually. Uh, did we say yeah. last month about you playing on Monologue and did get in the game and beating the game? Yeah, but there's been a development. There has. Yeah, I thought so. Have you heard this, Andy? I don't know. Well, you have to. Talk, 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 you don't know if you've heard it. Down, to know. Prepare for this. So well, yeah, monologue. Okay, so monologue. like Minilog has got a game in it. Yes, and, and it's kind of like a Flappy Bird game. Yeah, and you beat it, and it says enjoy monologue, and yeah. that's pretty cool. But then I beat it again. I did the kind of regeneration. Oh, regen. That's yeah, right. We, we did talk about, about it. And it, and it had a picture of um, one of the engineers <laughs> who did, worked on the voicing. I thought yeah. well, that's that's amazing. Cool. But then again, I've beat been again. I've been playing it. I've been all over it. And then I've seen things like the Apex Twin logo comes up, um, oh. different pictures of different engineers of Tats as well, a picture of him. It's unbelievable. It's, have, it's you like, got, have you tried it? What does it sound like? Or have we not got I haven't got that far yet. No. I didn't actually plug the audio out. I've you know, been playing the game. But yeah, it's... Yeah, so I'm just, so I'm almost just like addicted now. I think we should more get him pictures. one of these actually yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 I do, I do need one of those yeah, mini we, arcade machines. Yeah, Luke's uh, monologue's gone faulty. It's got a broken power switch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's switching yeah. it on and off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's just incredible, incredible. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah. I guess before we have a break and end the first segment, yeah, it's the end of the year. It is. So, shall we do like a favourite product of the year or a favourite yeah, okay. thing of the year? Yeah. We'll see if they're different. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they'll all be mini log, but you know, you <laughs> never know. So, shall we start with Ian? Okay. Ian. Okay. Um, probably because I'm not as talented at playing as you guys, I would probably say I rather like the Electribes. Right. Excellent. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Which yeah. one, though? The, yeah. the just the electribe, not the sampler. You prefer the, the standard the one, blue the blue one. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got the EMX one, the the original big, mm. and the EM one. Yeah, the, the, the black, black one. Yeah, um, and I think I got hooked on them years ago when I I was lucky enough to be invited to do some voicing work. So 
um, and that's continued on all three Black of them. Black One's always been my favourite. Very close yeah. to your heart. It is yes. very close to my heart, and yeah. and it was uh, with the original EM1 because it was so restricted with the number of parts that you had. It um, it forces you to be incredibly creative, mm. and uh, I, f I found that very uh, very interesting, very rewarding, as I'm, as I'm sure all musicians do when Indeed. they're in that situation. So that's good, Luke. Yeah. It's got to be monologue. Monologue mainly because wow, mainly because of the game, Wait, the monologue <laughs> or minilogue. The monologue. Well, you're not allowed monologue. Oh, I'm, I'm it's not out yet. Oh, I thought you should put favorite product of this year. Well, it is this year, but we haven't got them in stock yet. You've got one, but uh, no one else in the UK has so got one. So that doesn't count. Sure, like, no, give permission. no, that yeah. doesn't give him permission. That's not <laughs> fair. Because I would want that as well, but I can't because I haven't got one. Well, the oh, he's kicking off now. Yeah. <laughs> you can have it if you want, but you know what are you going to pick next year? Mm. Well, you know I'm I mean? sure there'll be some nice goodies coming out next year. Yeah, to pick one. Okay. But if I do, if I had to not if I had to exclude that, then I'll go for mini log. Yeah. So, okay. Any yeah. particular reason or? Just because it's awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, well, mine is different again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kamata, obviously. Oh, of yeah. course. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've actually got two in fairness because one isn't a product, but Kamata because obviously it's Kamata and really good. Uh, and I like the fact that we've worked with Namco Bandai. Yeah, that and, is very uh, really cool. You can uh, create your video game favourites, um, but for me as well, it's the um, upgrade that we've done for PA4X with all the new styles. Okay. Because yeah. I bet everybody's not heard these yet. If you want a PA4X, go and download them now. If you've not got a PA4X, download them anyway because they're free, and you never <laughs> know, you might want to buy one one day. <laughs> but the styles like like Stevie Ray Vaughan type styles, very rock blues type styles, Jimi Hendrix. And for a keyboard, a home keyboard, to sound like that is phenomenal. They are very good. Because the guitar yeah. styles are programmed amazingly well. Yeah. Well, all are the styles, we, we yeah. going to give the listeners um, a, a preview of these? Maybe we could insert In the break, them. I'll insert it, yes. Yeah. We'll so, Luke will so, insert yeah. his <laughs> insert styles. Yeah. So we'll just give a gap. There we go. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? <laughs> they sound amazing. So, yeah. So that's, yeah, so that's that. I'm Andy. Sure, I'm not sure there was actually a gap there. Should, so, should know, we do another gap? Hang on. Oh, that one was <laughs> even better. <laughs> one was a modern technology. I'll be able to shoehorn them in some way. Yeah. Maybe just one more. Oh, oh yeah. that was a good one. That was yeah. a I like that. realistic. <laughs> that one. Yeah, exactly. I love the ending. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we'll put them in it at some point. So Andy, watch. I'll have to move the mic to okay, you. What's yours? Yeah. Um, it's between two. Either the ARP Odyssey module. Ooh. Which, which one? Rev mm. one. Red yeah, one. Good, yeah, um, cool. And I've gone from kind of liking the ARP to just absolutely loving it because of what you think it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and the other one um, would be Kronos. Yeah. Um, because I've got into using it more and more and more. I've still got my Triton, which we have here in the room. You can't see, I'm pointing at it, which is pointless because this is all audio. But yeah. it's um, the development from the Triton up to the Kronos. It sort of follows through chronologically. It's such a phenomenal instrument to use. It's so musical, and you forget that it's a piece of gear. It's just, yeah, I love it. Really good. Excellent. Just a piece of gear. Mm. Just a you're piece you're of doing it in injustice. So that's yeah. what I mean. It's not just oh, a piece of gear. Are we doing a, a, a musical instrument? Platinum, or are we going black? Which is your favourite? I'm going to go with black. I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got the, I've got the Triton. Mm. That's so that's, you've got that's the silver effort. Enough, or it used to yeah. be before, uh, before it got grubby. Yeah, yeah. before it got grubby. It needs a white. It needs a white. I like since that we're doing that colour. Did you used to smoke? When no, you, yeah, when yeah, you, yeah. No, only when I was playing really he's, fast. He's just got very sweaty hands. Da -da. <laughs> so there it is. Maybe you should tweet some pictures, Andy. I could do that, yeah. You might not want to. Yeah, give it a clean first, and then. Yeah. Uh, do you know what though? You're not going to see this, but hey, you know, just just pretend. Okay. What this. are you doing? The cleanest part of this. He's lifting it up. Oh, look at got, that! It's got a mirror on the bottom. It's got oh, a yeah. mirror on the bottom, so, so you can check. So, have you shoes installed that yourself? When it's on an X frame, is it? Did you install the mirror? No, that's how they come no. actually. Oh. Why? Well, what's the reason of that? The I think bright chrome. Um, it just doesn't take any fingerprints or anything like that. Ah, right, I see. So it's not mirror effect when it's on an X frame and you can look at your sparkly well, shoes actually, no. or see where your sustain <laughs> pedal is. Yeah, that's right. Well, what what it was designed for was you, that you put a um, like a spotlight underneath. And yep. it reflected off and gave a really nice. Oh, so there was a reason. That's no, cool. I just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, Suck me in there. So what are you? I guess let's go around again because I've got another one. Oh, okay. You what can't you, do that. I know you've got to be careful <laughs> because you know I don't know what's coming next year. Um, but what are your hopes and dreams for next year? 
So what would you want, Andy, if you could have anything with core gritting on it? I don't know how much I can say here because I don't want to hint towards anything that may or may not be coming. No, but I'm not it's saying a, next year. But if if you could, you know, let's no, but, <laughs> okay. But if you were sending a message now to people in Japan for a product that you want, forget everyone else. What you want, if what you I could want. design it, what would it be? I'd like a really big mini log with with extra voices and that'd be cool. Full size keys yeah. and with a different game on it. I'd, with a different game. <laughs> Streets of yeah. Rage, yeah. double two hundred and forty <laughs> games. Yeah, I'd yeah. like heated keys Build when it's cold it. outside. Um, yeah, that'd no, be cool, no, no, it? yeah, a, a, a big, powerful. So that that would be your ama- yeah. ideal Christmas present. That would be yeah. from Japan. Yeah. What about I'll, yourself, I'll Luke? It. What would yours be if you could have anything? I would like a Sega Mega Drive Volker, please. We've said that before, yeah, but that I really would Beat like me. that. Well, we've kind of got that already with the FM, FM, yeah, but it's yeah, it's not quite, yeah, Volker 8 bit, yes, yeah. Ian, yeah. what about yourself? I'd like some Korg modular, yeah, mm. oh, that would be nice. Do you know what I'd yeah. like? And we had a, a dealer say this the other day imagine like a, you've got a, a key bed, you, the, like the mini log, so the same key bed as a mini log, and then like a little U roll rack thing, and you can put in your own Korg modular bits, yeah, mm. that'd be nice. That would be kind of be um, mine as well, really. But obviously, mine would probably be something like a Super Nintendo <laughs> Volker. In fact, no, I don't want a Volker. I want a keyboard. Yeah, so with keys on it. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. So, uh, so or a PA four X sample. Yeah, yeah, the Mario pack. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> So Very yeah, good. so there we go. So I think we'll have a bit of a bit of a break. Definitely need a brew. Go and have a brew, and we'll we'll see you in a bit. left his arcade machine <laughs> <laughs> hang on oh, I'm dead now anyway He's right, all over so yeah so welcome back part 2 Ian's left his arcade machine so that's going on with me tonight so Ian's now left it's just us and we have another special guest in the room we today. have Luke do you want to do give this young man a bit of an intro uh, this is Jordan hi Jordan say hello hi there he is there he is so he's uh, recently started working with us at Korg and wants to come yes. and see what we're doing in this room. He's doing an apprenticeship with us. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. welcome. For some reason, he wanted to come and watch the podcast. So uh, that's well, yeah. there you go. He can be on it next <laughs> well, time. Start yeah. at the bottom and work up, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah very good. So yeah. part two, where do we begin? Where do we begin? I think we should just dive straight in. Chronology, let's, let's do it. Let's go, go chronology. Yeah. Yeah, go okay, on, Luke, let's go do it. For it. Here we go. Korg. Chronology. 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 Do we know what it is? Have we 1985? Yes. I know that, because yeah. it's in my notes. Adam, <laughs> research 1985. <laughs> yeah, it's 1985. Um, it was released along with a couple of other cool products, actually, which are pretty cool. So the DW6000, which is sort of a cut-down version. We'll go through that in a minute. You've got the DDM10, which is a super drum module, which is very cool. DDM20, super percussion module. And also the Poly800 Mark II, which we talked about last time. So... Um, also launched around that time was the Roland TR-707, the TR-727, and also, which I thought was quite interesting, the HS-60, which is actually a Juno 106 with speakers. I'd never even heard of this wow. before. Awesome. So it was almost like a home keyboard version of a Juno 106, so that caught my eye a little bit. So mm. also Yamaha came with some cool things, lots of DX, sort of takes um, newer takes on the DX7, like DX5, 21, 27, and also the 100, which was their small little mini keyboard, which was a like a mini DX7, which was quite mm. cool for operator. And also Akai uh, S612, which was their first sampler. No way. So for them, that was quite a momentous year as well, because obviously they went on to do very well with their samplers in the next sort of five to ten years. Um, 
So anyway, back to the DW8000. It was um, a 61 key keyboard. 1985 is a killer year. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> putting it in there now. I'm sorry, just you, sorry, Luke. It is exciting. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm excited. It's, it's like the epitome of mid 80s, isn't it? It's just like that's what it is. So, um, 61 keys. It had aftertouch as well. It had one of those neat four-way joysticks as well. So um, a little bit like we have on a lot of our synths now. This was one of the first keyboards to have that on, which is nice. It was eight note poly. It was actually an analog digital hybrid. So we went away from the kind of analog stuff around mm. this time and into this new system called DWGS, which stands for Digital Waveform Generation System. Um, and this system actually was a precursor to things like the M1 and it actually still lives on in the King Korg today. So we've got a lot of these waveforms which were used originally on the DW8000 on the King Korg. So basically what it was, was it's a digital waveform, but the rest of the signal flow at that time was analog still. Right. So you get this really nice kind of mix of a digital wave with the circuitry of like an analog filter and an analog um, envelope and stuff. So that was um, quite revolutionary actually. And some other companies did sort of go down that route a bit later, like rolling with the D50 mm. and stuff. But um, yeah, cool, got in there. And um, the back, the panel is actually quite stripped back so there's not so much hands-on control they went down the route of the numerical par parameter axis like on the dx7 and like on um, some other stuff like the poly 800 and the gx3p from roland as well um, so there were 16 waveforms to choose from two oscillators um, so you had kind of normal waveforms like sine saw square but then they were mixed with things like pianos saxes and early kind of representations of samples of instruments. Yeah. Obviously, back then, they probably didn't sound a lot like the instruments, but it was quite an interesting way to create your sound, especially when you mix them with traditional waveforms. Um, there were pictures of all of these on the right-hand panel as well. Um, as I said, the filter section and the VCA section were analog, and it com could, could completely self-oscillate. But it also had a nice digital aspect to it, and it had a delay effect built in. So um, this is actually one of the main differences between this and the DW6000, which came out the same year. Um, that was only six note poly as well. It didn't have any aftertouch and only had eight waveforms. So it's kind of like a cut down version really, but still pretty cool. Um, the arpeggiator was 64 note one, so it could save a lot of uh, data in there. Very powerful for the time. You could save 64 patches. Um, again, cassette tape backups, so we're still uh, in this kind of era. Um, MIDI in, out, and through, of course, because we're into the MIDI era now. Yep. Um, it was produced for two years, between 85 and 87. There's also a rack mount version, uh, which was actually released exactly the same time. That's called the EX8000. And there was a memory expander unit, which is the MEX8000, that gave a further four banks of 64 patch memories. And you just connected that via MIDI and did basically SysX bulk dumps between the two. Um, in 1986, the following year, there was the DSS-1, which kind of built on this concept with the ability to be able to sample your own waveform. So this is really when the sampling kind of mm. side of it came in from a user point of view. You could actually put your own sounds in there. And in 1987, there was a DSM-1, which was a 3U expanded rack version as well. And that builds up nicely to what we're going to talk about next month. But oh I'm, my not, God. I'm not going to spoil oh, it. No. <laughs> <clears throat> um, notable artists using the DW8000, Depeche Mode, Jean-Michel Jarre, Steve Winwood, Keith Emerson, Lyle Mays, Kevin Moore of Dream Theatre, and Tony K of Yes. Cool. Yeah, so um, although it was kind of around that time, there were some other synths which were probably more famous, but to Korg and as a technology it's actually really important mm. because of this DWGS mm. thing I keep going on about. Uh, it doesn't sound very interesting, but actually as a technology and as a kind of way to create sounds, it was kind of a turning point. So um, that happened in 1985. 1985. Wow, well, there we go. Do you want to know what else other things happened in 1985? Put your phone away, Andy. This well, is no, my section. Hang, hang <laughs> on. Don't be jumping in. Hang on. I've just got, I've just, there's a question that I think we should ask. And go it's, on. Jordan, what year were you born? <laughs> 1999. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm going on. <laughs> so, no, well. 14 years <laughs> before that, lots of cool things happened. Yes. So, we start with things like US President Ronald Reagan is sworn in for a second term. You know, usual things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> William J. Schroeder becomes the first artificial heart patient to leave the hospital. 
Uh, it approved, we approved the, the blood test for AIDS. Mikhail Gorbachev becomes the general secretary of the Soviet communist... Com- Commun- oh, Communist Maximus. I can't believe he's born in 1999. <laughs> no, can I? Uh, Coca-Cola <laughs> changed its formula. Everybody Seriously? hated it. Right. So they reverted back within three months. That was called New Coke, wasn't it? it? I do was. remember something about that, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't go. remember that. Yeah. No? I was around, but I don't remember that. Um, the famous Route 66 is officially decommissioned. Right. Oh, that was a sad day. Um, mm. You know, there's there's a few things. Right then, big hitters. Here we go. The NES was released in America. Oh, wow. Yeah, 1985. It was the the Nintendo Entertainment System is released on US shores. It was first released in Japan in 1983, so it took two years to get to the... To, really? To us. Slow boat. So yeah, yeah, that is indeed. a long Well long worth way. waiting for. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft Corporation releases the first version of Windows. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> there we go. Serious. Yeah. Um, here we go. Music. We'll start with uh, Take On Me. Uh huh. Good. One Night in Bangkok. Remember that, Murray Head from yeah. the musical Chess? Um, Curless Whisper, one for Andy. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Lack, lack, of, <laughs> lack of, it could have been Like a Virgin by Madonna. <laughs> uh, I want to know it. what love is, foreigner. <laughs> That'll be yours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lover Boy. Billy Ocean. <laughs> no one to Luke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout, Tears for Fears, Broken Wings, Heat is On. Uh, we Built This City. Oh, classic. Absolute classic. Power of Love. Can't Fight This Feeling. Uh, St. Elmo's Fire. Never Ending Story. Oh. And Axel F. Beverly Hills Cop. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, TV. We had such classics as MacGyver. Oh, there we go. The absolute classic, The Golden Girls. Oh, my God. Did you know what? <laughs> Golden Girls is quality. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, the tune's good. Be Arthur, still going. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> Thundercats. Oh, they're Thundercats on the loose. Thundercats are on the loose. What's the next of, line, by the way? Thundercats, Thundercats are loose. That's a terrible lyric, isn't it? That whole, no. that whole section. Thundercats are what? Thundercats are on the loose. Thundercats, Thundercats are loose. Are loose. I'm like sure cats. it doesn't go like that. Thundercats are on the loose. Oh, I can't remember what it is now. Thundercats are on the loose. <laughs> You've blanked me. I We've can't got to find it. it. We've got to find it. Well, I think it is that. I think Thundercats you're right. Thundercats are on the Is it not move? Oh, it might be move. Are on the move. Thundercats are loose. Did it. Hear the magic. Hear the yeah, roar. Right. Thundercats <laughs> are loose. Did it. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Anyway. Twilight's on. <clears throat> yeah. Films <laughs> we oh, had ah uh, uh, oh, the films oh, so good. Well, what's number one, Andy? Well, Back, to, Back the future. to the Future. Back to the Future, of course. With the power of love and the soundtrack. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, Rambo: First Blood Part Two. Oh, oh brilliant! Uh, for my favourite, I'm just going to throw it out there. It's not everybody's favourite, but it's my favourite. Rambo Two, Rocky Four, which oh. is also my favourite Rocky film. Me too. Wow. Incredible. Vince Starkiller music. Yeah. Awesome. Colour Purple. Um, out of Africa, oh, another great one. Cocoon, another great one. Jewel of the Nile, amazing. Witness, no idea. The Goonies, <laughs> fantastic. The Goonies, oh wow. Uh, Spies like us. Uh, Fletch, A View to a Kill, great theme. Yeah, Duran Duran. Uh, National Lampoon's European Vacation. Brilliant. Breakfast Club. Say almost fire. Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. Oh, oh wow. yeah. That was, that was Commando. <laughs> Team Wolf. It just oh, goes on. It's just so impressive. Commando and Rambo Part 2 came out the same year. Yeah. Wow. Weird Science. <laughs> the, one of the greatest films of all time. One for my voice in particular. The Kerbers movie. <laughs> <laughs> the Kerbers. <laughs> or Care Bears, as you probably say. Black Cauldron. <laughs> So I mean, it was just like again. Do, do you know what else? Given this is the Christmas special, Santa Claus the movie, nineteen eighty-four. Was it? Wow. It was, yeah. I was very excited. I, loved that. I used to yeah. love that. I used to love yeah. that. I used to. I used to watch that on Christmas Eve, then go to bed. And That's mom, Dudley Moore, wasn't it? I mean, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the mom, best Santa Claus in any. And the film. music's yeah, yeah. so good. And my mum would say, "What are you doing going to bed? It's only four o'clock." And I'd be like, "Yeah, Christmas comes quicker when you go to bed." So anyway, just a couple of famous people that died that year. Oh, this would be good. Merry um, Christmas. Yeah. Margaret Hamilton. Do you know oh. who Margaret Hamilton is? Who's that? She was the lady that played the Wicked Witch of the West in Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah, because the old um, the building fell in, didn't it? Um, 
Uh, I'm melting. I'm oh, listen, she melted, isn't yeah. it? And uh, yeah. Yul Brynner. Right. There you go. Mm. So there's a f- there's obviously there's awesome wells and I don't like dwelling on bad things. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So yeah, so thanks for that, Luke. Shall what? we have another little break? Yes. This uh, young man needs to go. Okay. It's half past five. He's, he's home time. He's clocking off. So Andy, you finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Fine. Right. <laughs> let's, let's go and have a brew. A brew. Welcome back. So, part three. Part three. So, it's nearly Christmas. It is. And um, what better way, because it is a Christmas special, we've not really talked it is about Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Chris, Chris, Christmas. 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 Um, Did mention Santa Claus the movie. Mentioned Santa Claus yeah. the movie. Mentioned that I used to go to bed early because Christmas would come quicker. What else? What other Christmas stories have you got? No, I never did because you could oh. never sleep on Christmas Eve. No. <laughs> I've got a little something here for you. It's, um, you can see it's it's wrapped in tin foil, but I'm going to uh, throw this over to you now. Here it what comes. What's this? That's it. Well, you know, it's. Is it a sandwich? I'm starving. It, 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 it is. <laughs> it, lunch it is today. a sandwich. It's um, it's a particular oh, sort of sandwich. It's not fish because I'm allergic. It's to not fish. fish. No, it's no, a bit, yeah, it's a bit yeah. Christmassy as well. That's it. Yeah, it's um. I think oh. I think someone once called oh it. Oh my god, it's turkey stuffing. I think it's a stuffing booty or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's like whatever you. It's new, a stuffing booty. Whatever you Newcastle lads say. <laughs> Not from really Newcastle. Good. Oh no, that's it. But and that's that's it's, problem. That's it's a turkey stuffing butt, is what it is. Oh, okay. Well, where where I'm go. from. Here we go. I'm going to eat that in a minute. That's a, I don't want to do it now because it's bad podcasting. <laughs> <if> you <laughs> get it, yeah. Is that so? Yeah. And, and so all the nice with the brew, Christmas. Though. What yeah. do you normally do? Christmas. What's you normally buy presents, don't you? Yeah, I no, think no, so. What, yeah, what, for other what, people. What have you? Yeah. Uh, what do you, you know? What things are you looking forward to? Christmas. Watching lots of. Classic eighties films. Yeah, probably. Gremlins yeah. is bound to be yeah, on. Yeah, Gremlins. Flight of the Nav- Navigator. Yeah. That's Flight always of the Navigator. on. Particular favourite of mine. Uh, so that'd be cool. Yeah. Pl- playing with the, uh, the the toys that I've bought for the kids, making money <laughs> is what I'm saying. That yeah. you know, that's that's actually. I can't wait for that. You know, because my little boy is one this weekend, which is like wow. scary. He'll be eighteen soon. <laughs> Time it's flies when you're not sleeping, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> but when when you get to that age where you can be like, I mean, I bought him a uh, um, a product from Korg this year. Have you? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've bought him a tiny piano. Fantastic. So he's uh, looking. Well, he doesn't know he's looking forward to it, but <laughs> he will be but opening he it is. for Christmas a tiny piano. Now, so which colour did you go for? I went for. I bought it that long ago. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's red. Probably not pink though. Hopefully. No, no. I think yeah. it's. I think we've gone for red. I can't remember. But Red's nice. Yeah. yeah. So he's got his first piano coming this Christmas. Mm. So I'm looking forward to that. I've kind. Of, I've given myself mm. trouble with kind of buying Harry his first instrument because I've still got my very first keyboard that I had, which was an old Yamaha PSR kind of thing. Yeah. And so I thought I'll put that in front of him, and I did. And he he pressed a few of the things, and then he looked at me and said. The last thing I played was the Kronos. What? What? You know, he's four years old. <laughs> he looked at me as if to say, "No, you're not. You're not getting away with that." I've I've heard that, and I'm not interested. And literally, picked a bit was, early there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so if, you, if I'm going to buy him anything, I think it's going to have to be one of those, which is kind of awkward. I'm going to yeah. go with a Lego set instead of it because you know <laughs> yeah, I can play with that as well. So. Yeah. So that's cool. So watching films, drinking, and eating plenty, no doubt. Um, oh, I've got you a present, Adam. What is it? It's a, it's a present. It's a present. Yeah, I like it. It's also in cool wrapping paper. It yeah. is. It's great, isn't it? I'm opening it up. <laughs> what is it? Is this your car stock Volker sample? <laughs> <laughs> you put samples on it, haven't you? I have. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a break. So we're gonna need to plug this in. Okay, let's take a quick break. Hang on, I want to just sample some first. Hang on, let me turn it up. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Hang on. <laughs> right, we'll be back. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so my Christmas present from Luke is a Volker sample filled with computer game goodies. How about that? I haven't heard any of these. They'll only let me play the first two, because that's what I flashed before. So I'm going to go through a few now. So we've got Mario. Hello! <laughs> Love that. <laughs> oh, Sonic <laughs> Ring. <laughs> Bit of Zelda, found my treasure chest. This, this is, what? <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's on Tetris when you, uh, oh, yeah, when you yeah, die. Yeah. And that's, that's the tune nice, plays. Yeah. <gasps> Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of Street Fighter. 
Well, finish him. Well, combat. Finish him. Oh, yeah. This is just oh, incredible. Oh, that's Mario reversed. Everybody, go and buy a Volker sample <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, re- I found that if you reverse it, it says it in Spanish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not done there. Sega. Oh. <laughs> Bit of Mario. Oh, that is just immense. Have you got some uh, windows? <laughs> yeah. Here in my car. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. Wally charging up. Come in, Joe. Is that reversed? Just yeah, reversed, right. yeah. Hang on, with more. Oh, <laughs> look at that! Oh, look, that's that's so good. Is Sean in this? Not yet. He can no. take his arcade cabinet. <laughs> not interested. <laughs> What's that? Night Rider. That's Kit. Yeah. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Come on, Andy. I thought that was a Cylon for a second. Actually, <laughs> Could be. Sonic Ring again. Sonic oh, no, Ring again. Next Sonic. Bank. Oh next no, bank. next bank. Next bank. Uh, we're on three. Then. That was that was like a run of rings. <laughs> there we <Yes>. go. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. just incredible. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> that's my favourite sounds from Star Wars. Star Wars. The, um, yeah, but that's, that's really that's good sound. Such yeah. a great noise. Yeah. Other sci fi's yeah, are available. Gareth, Gareth's <laughs> stomping around. You probably heard that on the podcast then. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was two samples there. <laughs> That's Darth Vader holding his breath. Hold, hold, <laughs> hold, <laughs> and release. Impressive. Impressive. Yoda. Yoda. Just. That is amazing. I think that might be it. There's more. There we I go. I think we're at the end then. Impressive. Oh, so good. Tell you so what, the, for the next podcast, you challenge us to make some patterns that is using just those samples. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm on that challenge accepted. You might have to write that down for him because I, I think don't think he's worth it. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Sounds good, doesn't it? Finish him! <laughs> right, that is the best Christmas present ever. Thank you, Link. Yeah, no worries. Uh, so yeah, everybody, go out and buy a Volker sample this minute. Uh, so tune in next time for uh, me somehow managing to get those into some kind of tune. So yeah, maybe you should uh, maybe you should just get the jingle and, and do something with that over the jingle next time. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have it's to put it down now because I will literally it? keep playing that yeah. to the rest of the podcast. So while we're on Volker, I think it's time to bring Tony in for some of his oh, uh, yes. Good call. latest um, Tony's tips section. Let's see what he's got to say this time. Let's see what he's got. Hello and welcome to another episode of Volker Tips with me, Tony Horgan. Today we'll be looking at the Volker FM and specifically the arpeggiator section, which I love. The arpeggiator turns single notes or chords into rhythmic patterns. This works really well when you use the tempo division modes for longer patterns or pattern chaining, or both together, as I've done here. So what we have here is four chords recorded into two patterns in the quarter tempo setting using an electronic piano sound. When we turn on the arpeggiator, hold function and press key number five, we can choose a type and a division of the arpeggiator. The type specifies the range of octaves the arpeggiator will use and whether it moves up, down or randomly up and down. The division can be thought of as the speed of the arpeggio. Now we'll put it through a delay effect and it sounds even nicer.
we can experiment with different arc types and divisions to create the kind of sound we want. Finally, you can even play additional notes into the arpeggiator as it plays, either from a MIDI controller or from the Volker FM keyboard itself. It's also worth noting that changes to the ARP type and ARP division controls can be recorded as part of a motion sequence. If you take the tempo right down when you're recording a motion sequence, it's possible to record different ARP type and division settings for each step in a sequence, but that's maybe something we'll cover in another Volker tip. I'm Tony Horgan, you can find me on Twitter at TheTonyHorgan, you can find me on YouTube and you can find my Volker guides by searching Volker Expert. Goodbye. Thanks very much, Tony. That was impressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've <laughs> put, put it down it, now. Got Come to put on. It away. I do apologise. <laughs> Thank you. So, so yeah, Tony, he's on fire, isn't he? he is. Put him out. <laughs> he's a, a great. He's uh, so. Thank you again to Tony for his amazing Volker tips section. Very good. So. Moving on, we've got some, uh, there's actually a lot of new videos um, this week on the uh, Korg YouTube channel. Uh, added today is Backstage with Danny Ivory, the keyboardist of Gallant, playing on a Kronos, so there's two parts to that. Very nice. There's a, a new uh, Introducing Monologue video. There's, uh, that's, there's actually that's cool actually that's with tats <clears throat> yeah, th yeah and there's actually different there's there's a, a little series come out I don't know if you've seen it a four part series uh, of different sections of of the monologue oh that's cool so you've got oscillators modulation filter see, there's, check them out there's four different ones there's, there's nothing about the game though is there no maybe no. we need to do that we do we, we need do. to be on we there. definitely we do need to, you know get on that quick <laughs> forget the instrument learn the game <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Korg S Shape your sound, bring it anywhere. Yes. So that's a, a brand new video for the Micro Korg S. We've got Korg I Wave Station, the Korg Carcelator for Android, of course, which is what you've you've heard today, and then Korg presents Brew Music at Brooklyn Brewery. Mm. A lot of bees in that for me. Brew Music, Brooklyn Brewery. <laughs> so Luke, tell Hashtag us about brew. it. I just watched the video. That's all I know. But it's they. Korg did an event there, really, basically, at the um, Brooklyn Brewery, and they invited a load of people to have a few beers and also try out some Korg gear, and it's really cool, and they've got them all there in the video, like, loads of barrels everywhere um, with the products on them, and yeah, See, it looks wicked. we need to do that. We definitely we? need to get involved with that. Definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. do that. Obviously, we can't do it in Brooklyn, but we no. can do it in wherever. Southwold, Adnams, they're very good. Other yeah. beers are available. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we need to get on that, don't we? We do. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to we also, I uh, think we should get onto that. <laughs> Tell us. Um, <laughs> Going to be in. So yeah, so there's now. plenty of, uh, of videos there to, to look out for. Uh, and you've Luke's been doing a few videos recently at various dealers across the land. Yes. So, so they're starting to appear now. Yep, yep. So there's videos on Volker Kick, obviously the new Volker. We've got monologue videos out there. Obviously we've got. King Korg Blacks out there, another new product that that is now in stores. We've got the Odyssey module, Rev One, Rev Three. It's all happening. Saw King Korg Black today. Mm. They look looks awesome. so good. Yeah. They look awesome. Yeah, really, really good. I mean, I love the gold one, but yeah. the the black one is just it's another level. I'm just skint. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just end up buying everything. That's the problem, isn't it? You know. But yeah, so so that's that. I think is that everything. Are we done? I think we are. Yeah. Just yeah. Merry Christmas to Just all. Just Merry yes. Christmas to... And we may end up doing another one. But if we don't, 
it's been a pleasure it has uh, we've really enjoyed doing these seven podcasts now yeah. I, I could take it or leave it but that's fine you know, but, <laughs> I'm kidding of and course I must so. say we, we, as well as obviously people listening into the UK we've got people listening from all over the world we have so you know states Japan mm. uh, Russia oh, there we go. Ghana Okay, wow. all listen, over Europe all as well. You know, yeah. literally yeah. everywhere, France, Italy. So thank you, everybody that's that's got in touch with us, and said, you know, keep it up, well done, good as ever. Yeah, as anything ever. you want to say to us, get in touch. Yes, yeah. so you can contact us at Microcast on Twitter. You can contact me at Adam Korg UK. You can contact Andy at yes. Andy Korg UK. That's at Andy Korg UK, <laughs> not at yes, yes. Andy, uh, at Andy Korg I'll UK. Blow it. I'm sorry. And cut uh, uh, that Luke <laughs> at Korg Luke. Korg Luke. Nice yeah. and easy. So yeah. please get in touch, like us, share us, tell us things we like to listen. So thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you, if not before, in the new year. Mm. See you very soon. Merry Have Christmas. A lovely Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bow down,